Cuban students welcomed the back-to-school announcement last September to resume and conclude the 2020 school year, interrupted by the first coronavirus spread on the island. But the in-person learning process under strict protection measures was again cut short after a new and stronger COVID-19 spread hit the country in January this year, and which continues today. Several schools and daycare centers underwent important repairs, like this one in Havana during the shutdown. We are now refurbishing the whole building, including the bathrooms, the kitchen, internal and external areas, and finally the center will be painted as part of the capital repair. Remodeling will allow these schools to offer a more comfortable stay for students and professors once in-person attendance takes place again. In Cuba, like in other countries where schools have closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Distance education is playing a very important role in keeping instruction in all school levels. Working remotely with the help of technology has made all the difference. There's daily TV programming for all levels, including preschool children. These TV lessons have been very useful for me to keep educating my daughter at home because she cannot attend school. Cell phone and personal computer applications recently developed here allow Cuban students to keep attending school online. We can now resume our school year virtually through online platforms. It's free of charge for us to download books, materials and follow our teachers' instructions. I think it's something very useful. Educators say the current school year will not be lost or repeated even though students need more instruction but they acknowledge much depends on controlling the pandemic. Luis Chirino, CGTN, Havana.